time to kick it with Kitty one more time on this Friday right. morning. He lost the jacket. Good yeah. morning. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little warm. That jacket works. It's, it's made the old-fashioned way. It's a little warm. And uh, I know, Christy and Wayne, you guys do a lot of decorating on the outside yeah. on the lawn. Mm -hmm. So here's a little vintage twist for your lawn. Joe, some of this was back when plastic just came out yeah, and it was kind of yeah, huge, Yeah, right? it was huge. Uh, blow molds. Uh, yep. You know, they're, they're Noma, they're Empire. They're, you know, you could have a little bit of... Uh, Religious on your lawn or a little bit of cheese on your lawn. It just depended on, you know, who the neighbors were. In our neighborhood, the one year somebody put out Noel, and the next people next door did not spell really well, and they put on Leon. <laughs> so, I mean, you can have a little bit of everything during the right. holidays. That is so, so awesome. Yeah. And when we speak of everything, I mean, you guys restock the shelves every day when we every talk about vintage, right? Every single day something new comes out. So it's like uh, we have stockpiles. I have 10 garage is full of vintage Christmas. Wow. And and everything we see here, literally, it has been repurposed. So yeah. you are like saving things from landfills. Up, upcycle, yeah. upcycle, upcycle. You know, it's uh, uh, to be cool is to save Give the earth. earth. I say. Yeah. Don't put it in a landfill. You know, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about it, you know, call us up. Let's send it out. Let another family love it. Mm -hmm. You know, let's let's let let somebody else create a new memory with it. Now you guys go all out, so we don't want to freak people out. It's about accents. You don't have to do your entire house there. No. But have a little corner here or there. Yes, You sir. know that you dedicate to something vintage, right? Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. And over here, speaking of vintage. Our couple for our last scene, a little Christmas gift giving right by the Christmas tree, right? So, so um, first of all, what is she wearing? Uh, basically, uh, she is wearing what I would call 1980s glam. Okay. Uh, with a little bit of turquoise. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take a little bit of Southwest and bring it all into that. Why not? Um, you know, it's just it's just lovely. You know, you can wear this around the house when you're when you're having a party, when you're hostessing, and feel comfortable. It's okay. all about the comfortability of of what you're wearing, and you know, you, you, you can be fancy, but still but, comfortable. But still comfortable. And he's cute now. Now yeah, he went yeah. from cool to cute with that little you know that little teddy bear. With that little teddy bear, you know, you know, Grandma made that for him. Yeah. <laughs> grandma made that for him, and you know, he's got to display that. Uh, grandma Cora is hot. Grandma Cora is hot. <laughs> right. Who knew that Granny was going to be an interior was designer? Was going to be the coolest thing in the world, you right? You got it. And, and the little gift giving, yeah. she's giving him an old something for his man cave. Yeah, man cave. Uh, POC, Pride of Cleveland, right. uh, beer that was on, oh, West 65th Street in Cleveland, Ohio for gotcha. many, many years. And, and he's giving her. He's giving her a Victor Schreckengoss. Look at that, Victor yeah, Schreckengoss. Schreck so that local Cleveland flavor. We have a lot of things that are That's local so Cleveland. Cool. You know, Christmas, when you're from here, you remember you things, remember Christmas you remember in Cleveland. Cleveland Christmas well congratulations on 25 years well, Joe you. looking forward to the new location right here in Lakewood next year it's gonna be amazing 18,000 square feet mm -hmm. congratulations we're so happy for you and so proud of you all right well we're gonna end with that beautiful Christmas tree shot back to you guys in the studio <laughs>